Okay, vivid sunset glow, two notches down in darkness uh, compared to three and four on the other settings uh, normally. And, uh, and we're uh, two notches right, two notches down on the colour grid. So we should be matching colours now or somewhere near about. But um, I think the quality on the vivid sunset glow is a little bit better but I think the colour is a little bit better on the other on the other setting. So you know, I'm still having an eyeing, and I still think there's an, also another setting, uh, one of that first nighttime setting we tried uh, when we went into the Firth sort of thing. You know, down in the Scott Creek Conservation Park, we walked down there, and I tried the various nighttime settings. So I might try another one shortly now, and uh, uh, try that because I thought that first setting was quite good. So that might actually be the one and we've sort of accidentally gone past it, you know, we sort of we put it to one side without realising we can make it better just by notching the, uh, the darkness down sort of thing and then it would be perfect but we didn't know at the time sort of thing. But uh, yeah, we've got all these little swale places and things in here we can look at, you know, later on through the season and uh, you can see yeah, there's quite a bit of moisture going around in these places, so you never know what you're going to find. The ugly. Whoa, look at that. Look at that, fellas. That's, that's <laughs> blowing in the wind. Yeah, I can do that by hand or by the wind. That's amazing. Trem the old trembling ground. That's not going to That's not gonna survive. That is definitely not going to. That's going to be down sometime over the week, I reckon, that one. Poor fella. Unless we tie it to one of these other ones. It just shows how uh, either one shallow rooted they are or unstable the soil is. Yeah, anyway, maybe time to start a new clip in a different setting. We'll try the first artistic uh, night scout I think we tried. Okay, over and out.